I said I was going to try to start doing a recap of a lot of my messages, a quick recap, uh, breaking down in a more simple, uh, easy to understand kind of manner of some of the messages that I've given or that I give. And this is one, the tribulations are coming to the nations and not to you. I saw a comment from a guy who said that um, the, the Chinese uh, emperor who uh, put some people through persecution and also those who were uh, persecuted under Hitler have gone through more or went through more than we went through during slavery. <laughs> and this is exactly why God is coming to destroy the nations, because this is really for real. I would probably say of all the white people in America, or, and I would say in all of the Western European countries, I would say of their thinking, I would say this is 75% of how most of them think that what we went through in slavery is far less than what happened to the Jewish in, in uh, under Hitler and what happened to, you know, he said Mao, China and whatever persecution he took, you know, different Japanese and whoever else was in, in, involved in that. And, you know, they think the Japanese internment camps were harder than what our ancestors went through in slavery. This is this is serious. This is really this true. And you know why it's like that? Because it didn't happen to them. It didn't happen to their ancestors. And I used to think that everybody knew of the atrocities, but they don't know of the atrocity. They just know of the event, which 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 uh, was the transatlantic slave trade. But pretty much after the event, it kind of gets blurry and mucky to most people. And for the most part, they don't care. It didn't happen to them. So why do they care? They don't see the lingering effects that has happened that that it has had on us. So why do they care? They have no sympathy and no empathy for what happened to you. And matter of fact, I would go as far as most of the time, much many of them hate you and resent you, even though what you went through, even though it's their ancestors that put you through what you went through. However, the tribulations are literally coming to their nations. It's literally coming to their nations. You don't have a nation. This is what I talked about in this message, how uh, we don't have a nation, how the Chinese have a nation, how the Japanese have a nation, how the Americans have a nation, how the Britons have a nation, how the French have a nation, how the Germans have a nation, how the Indians have a nation, how many other Africans have a nation, how the Arabs have nations. You don't have a nation. So the tribulations over and over and over again in God's word, let's go to Joel 3 and 2. I will also gather all nations and bring them down to the valley of Jehoshaphat. Let's go to Jeremiah 25 and 31. The turmoil will resound to the ends of the earth because the Lord brings charges against the nations. Uh, uh, Zephaniah 3 and 8, therefore wait upon ye, saith the Lord, wait until the day that I rise up to pray for the determination is to gather the nations. God over and over again is talking about how he is going to destroy the nations. Revelations 19 and 15, coming out of his mouth mouth is a sharp sword, which is to strike down the nations. He will rule them with an iron scepter. Christ is upset. In the last chapter of the Bible, that do you know that blonde hair, blue eyed Christ that they got on their on they walls? <laughs> that Christ ain't coming, <laughs> right? It's been, whoa, 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 who is this guy, right? The guy that's coming because he coming with a sharp sword to strike down their nations. You don't have a nation. You don't have a nation. Why is God coming then? Why is God coming then, right? If he's coming for those people who, uh, who got treated so badly during Hitler, they, they, look, they, they get treated very, very well by the nations right now. If he's coming for whoever did that to Mao China, they get treated very, very well right now. No, he's coming for the ostracized. He's coming to make the weak strong. He's coming to make the poor rich. And that's you. That's us. But they, for some reason, just overlook this. For some reason, I, you know, if they had been done just like how we had been done, we would have compassion for them. But they have none for you, and I will have none for them. Those who have none for us, I will have none for them, and God will not either. Let's listen to this, Deuteronomy 30, oh God, 30 and 7. And the Lord thy God will put all these curses upon the enemies on them that hate thee, which persecuted thee. 
In Deuteronomy 30, God goes on to talk, uh, starts at 30 and 1, talks about how he's going to turn away our captivity. He's bringing us back from captivity and how we're going to start following his laws, commandments, and statutes, and how he's going to circumcise our hearts, very similar to Jeremiah uh, 31 and 31, and also Hebrews 8 and 8, where he talks about how he's going to write his laws on our hearts and our minds. So we're going to be a righteous people. I keep telling y'all that this is referring to the spirit of God falling on us, Joel 2 and 28 and Acts 2 and 17, how the spirit falls on us. And then we're going to have God's mind and we're also going to have God's uh, 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 power. So we're going to have God's mind and his power, but we'll get in that some other time. The point that I'm trying to make here is that right after that, he talks about how the curses that have been on you, Deuteronomy 30 and 7, the curses that I put upon you, I'm going to put upon your enemies on them that hate you, that persecute you. The police persecute you. So now they're finna see some of the uh, curses that we've seen. And now how, what, what is one of those uh, uh, curses that we've been seeing? How they normally killing us? Watch what's about to happen. See how they ran into uh, Trump? Uh, they, they, erode, they erode in their own system. I can show y'all these curses that's coming upon them literally right before our very eyes. See how they went, how the FBI went and raided Trump? Uh, um, Mar-a-Lago, how he raided the golf course, right? The, uh, the police been shooting you in the back with no gun for how many years you've been living here? I mean, I'm talking about way longer than just the, all the recent shootings you've seen, right? That You've been seeing black people being tormented by the cops and you didn't hear one white person say nothing, right? There's a few, of course, there's a few, but I'm saying the majority of them have been quiet. Trump has one indiscretion with the police officers and they are ready to run inside of the office. They're ready to run inside the police department. Some of them protested out front of the FBI building. I'm, I, I would get into that deep of what's going to happen, but they finna go at it with each other. You watch and see what I'm saying, because this ain't finna end. This wasn't in there. Why, why, they going to keep going at Trump. They're going to keep poking them. They're going to keep pushing. This is all God creating this spirit. The seals are being broken. That's what I wanted to show y'all was how it, it says in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, how the curses we're living under that we've been under for 400 years that they're about to start living under. And when I, and when I talked about this in the message, in the original message, I talked about how the seals are being broken and I went through the seals, revelation six. I'm not, I'm just going to paraphrase. And I went through some of the seals showing how now, how, how we were living, how we, our whole life been living under these uh, plagues of the seals. And now they are going to, they are starting to experience the plagues or the curses of the seals. Do you understand what I'm saying? I hope y'all get this. Revelations uh, 6 and 2, the first seal, talks about the spirit of conquer and conquest. And I and I compared that to Black America. And, and I don't have to compare it. It's just the truth. We were conquered. We are conquered people. Our, pe our, our, our ancestors were conquered. That's how we got here. We're prisoners of war. We're literally the descendants of people who were who, who went to war with all the nations of the world and then who were conquered and then placed in captivity. So we are a conquered people. That's the first seal. And we've lived like that for 400 years. God said that the same spirit we lived under, they're about to live under. The same spirit we lived under for 400 years, they're about to live under. The nations. The nations. You understand this? And so now what happened when, uh, when, when the judgment started in 2020 and 2021? A spirit of conquer came upon all the nations. Whether that was from the World Health Organization, whether that was from, you, you understand what I'm saying? A spirit of conquer came upon, one of the same spirit came upon all of them. At one point, they thought they was free. You, they was free to say whatever they want online. Uh, 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 um, uh, uh, a white lady could have, I, I feel like a white lady or a white man could have walked inside of a, a, a place and just shot somebody in the face. They was free to do whatever they wanted to do. But now the spirit of conquer has reigned that back. No, I know you now. You do whatever I tell you to do. I got freedom of speech. You remember they used to yell and scream with the police. I can do whatever I want. I don't have to take this vaccine if I don't want to. I can do whatever I want. Not, no, not, not you can't. Now there's a spirit of conquered on you. Now there's something telling you what to do, right? I don't have to go to sleep. If I don't want to go to sleep, I don't have to go. To, if I don't want to go in my house, I don't have, there was a video. I remember when all this was going on, a white lady and a, a husband and a wife and some kids, they was all sitting on their porch. And then, and, and then the, um, they was in, uh, the police and the cops and the military was instituting a curfew and they were walking through the street. They told them, go in their house. They said, no, nah, we don't got to go in the house. This is my, this is my property. It's my rights. And they started shooting paintballs at them or, 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 you know, or dummy rounds at them. They, oh, snap, and ran in the house. But that would have never happened. Before 2020, that wasn't a spirit of conquer on white America. This is just a fact. I'm just telling you the truth. You guys take it how you want to take it. This is a fact. I don't, I don't, I don't speak in generalities and I don't speak to make try to tickle your ear. I tell the truth, right? Because the truth self set you free. And if you know this truth, if you listen to this truth and hearken to it, maybe you can be one of them that is counted among us, right? Maybe you can be one of them. I'm talking about if you if you're a part of the nations, right? But let me continue going on this. Revelations six and three. 
The second seal talks about civil unrest and men killing each other. Have we not already lived under this curse in black America for the last 400 years? Civil unrest and men killing each other, right? All you hear about is black on black crime. All you hear about is civil unrest in our communities. Not a fact, turn on the TV, listen to, listen to our, our music, our cultural music is hip hop. And it's talking about us killing each other. It ain't talking about us killing the police and killing white people. Somebody, anytime we make a song about killing the police, give white people, they, they, they get banned and taken off and it's a controversy. But every single song we put out, we talk about killing each other. And nobody talks about it at all. They put it in the stores, put it in CDs, play it on the radio about black people killing black people. The spirit of men killing each other and, and civil unrest has been in our community forever. Forever. But now it's in their communities. Oh, God, help me preach this thing. Now you see them killing each other. You see videos of them coming out shooting each other. I seen a video the other dude, a white dude walked in the house and shot his uh his his, his boyfriend new ex. I uh, saw the video the uh, uh, the guy just killed the journalist in, in Las Vegas. They, uh, I saw a video up up on the Fremont Street experience. They one of the white dudes shot each other. Now you seeing videos of them shooting each other. Used to be full of world star hip hop of us just shooting each other. Uh, now I send videos of them shooting each other. And then you would hear about one white school shooting here or there, but now you're hearing about multiple white school shootings. We always been having school shootings in East Oakland. Nobody ever talks about. It. Always been school shootings in Chicago. Always been school shootings in the ghettos of America. This is fact. This is shooting almost every day in the ghettos of America at a school. It's a fact. It's not on the news. Obama ain't shared one tear for us. Two of them kids died in Connecticut. They was crying. But I'm talking about specifically right now what's going on. I'm talking about you see the civil unrest now in their communities. Go to the restaurants. You see the uh, the road rage between uh, on them. They jumping out of cars in road rage, shooting, fight, fighting each other, uh, and killing each other. I'm showing you how what God said in Deuteronomy 30 and 7, how the plagues and the curses that was on us is now on them. The tribulations are coming to the nations, not to you. What I'm trying to show you is that God isn't punishing those that he's trying to redeem. <laughs> that God isn't putting judgment on those that he's trying to make the judgments uh, I mean, that he's trying to make the judges. Oh, that's, that, that's how, that's how I got into it. God isn't, 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 uh, oh, uh, cursing those or, or putting those in captivity again, that he's trying to liberate. We the ones that he's trying to liberate. Let them tell you that <laughs> Leo, Leo, you've been liberated. Huh? Uh, the bra was slave to the lender. We don't own no bank. Our, our, my face ain't on the dollar on no, on no coins. They don't hear what we saying. They don't hear what we saying. So the third seal, and I'm, I'm, I'm just going to paraphrase and I'm going to get out of here real quick, but the third seal, inflation. And I talked about in the message how in uh, um, the black neighborhood, we've been uh, 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 having inflated prices, more inflated prices than in the white neighborhood. The cost of goods and services been costing more. I'm talking about before COVID. Costed more in the hood than it costed in the white neighborhood. This is a fact. This is a fa fact. Call it a hood tax. Call it a crime tax. Call it whatever you want to call it. But gas costs more in the hood. Food costs more in the hood. Everything costs more when you lived in the ghetto. And we were already the poorest people. But now their prices are inflated. You see this? Now their cost of goods and services are going up. Now it's a national emergency. Now is the policies are wrong and we need to get this change. And what's going on? You see what I'm saying? God is not a man that he should lie. Go ahead. Turn your back. Let, look, look, I, I, I hope and pray you turn your back, sir. Turn your back and put your head under a pillow and act like what I'm saying is, 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 is a lie or that I'm trying to uh, twist the scriptures in some kind of way because there's more great, greater judgment coming. There's more greater. Uh, listen, listen, it, greater plagues that's about to hit and it's going to be too late for you to turn and repent. Oh, they don't hear what I'm saying. They don't hear what I'm saying. They don't hear what I'm saying. Remember, he said it's going to come to those who hate us. Mm, they don't hear what I'm saying. They don't hear what I'm saying. So uh, just to get out of here real quick, and I didn't I didn't go into all in the, in the message. I didn't go into every seal to break down every seal because I had no reason to. But the fourth seal talks about a plague, the sword and the famine or the sword, the plague, the famine. And, 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 and just like, you know, war has been war in the hood. They actually call Iraq Chirac. They call it, uh, 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 what's the place? Uh, Fayetteville, 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 because it's that bad there. So it's been war in the hood, you see? And now it's about to be war on their streets. You watch and see what I tell you. I prophesied this back in 2020. I talked about this. There's about to be war on their streets. The sword. Famine. A famine is coming to them. Hard. You've been, listen, we've been having to eat one top ramen a day. We've been having to just eat bread. Uh, I was talking about when I was, when I grew up, we were so poor. We used to eat raw spaghetti noodles. That was it. That was it. 
so we know how to survive through this. This is foreign to them, not being able to go to Costco and buy as much as they want, not being able to go to the grocery store and buy whatever they want. When all these Chinese food restaurants finna get shut down, when all the Mexican restaurants finna get shut down, all the food and all the luxury finna be gone. This will be foreign to them. This is going to be a regular day for you. We've been under a famine. Who the food stamps come to or who the food stamps for? It's been for you to supplement your income, to help you buy more food because you ain't even had a food, money to buy no food. You've been having food shortages is what I'm trying to show you. A famine. Now they're about to have a food shortage in the famine. You watch what I say. This all going to happen all next year. Watch the, the, war, the, the, the war, the sword, I mean the sword, the famine, and the plague. And lastly, the plague. The plague um, we've been living under plagues in our community. They brought Ebola to us. They brought cancer to us. The syphilis, a Stokesi experiment they brought to us. They told us they wanted us to go get the shot first, didn't they? Ain't that what they said, right? Oh my God, I'm preaching to somebody right now. Uh, diabetes. Uh, remember I showed y'all a video with the white lady showing how they put the uh, diabetes in our community. You go to Africa, ain't no such thing as diabetes. If we come from Africa, then why is our people getting diabetes more than anybody? And ain't no such thing of it in, in Africa. So I mean, they giving it to us. AIDS they brought to us. We've been under plagues. Like we've been dealing with major plagues. And then when COVID hit, they dealt with a plague. But I don't even think about COVID. That's some BS. They about to deal with a real plague. Watch what I say. Watch what I show you. Watch what I show you. Watch what I show you. Watch what's going to happen. Watch what's going to happen. Even Joe Biden and his says said that a second pandemic is happening. Watch what God is going to do. And Joe Biden's only saying that to get in front of what he know God is about to do. That's watch, 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 watch and see. Watch and see. But, the, but what I was saying in this message was that the tribulations is coming to the world. It's coming to the nations, not to you. Not to you. The sixth seal, there's a fifth seal, and then the sixth seal is about a great earthquake or a massive natural disaster. Oh, God, help me preach this thing. A massive natural disaster, Hurricane Katrina. Oh, God, help me preach this thing. A massive natural disaster. See, they don't want this. But it's going to be something serious. It's going to disperse their families and, uh, and their friends. It's going, to, it's going to destroy all their institutions, everything they've ever had, they've ever known. Uh, dispersing, you got to live under a bridge uh, where, your, where your homes ain't there no more. A massive quake is coming and the sixth seal. Mm, they don't want this. And then the seventh seal, God's chosen people are sealed. 144,000 of them. 12,000 from all the tribes of Israel. They're sealed by the seal of God. That's the seventh seal. And I'm trying to prove what I'm trying to show you is that the, 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 the oh God, the tribulations are coming to the nations, not to you. The, the seventh seal is going to seal you from the trumpet judgments and the bold judgments coming next after the seals, because those are going to be worse than even what you experienced in the 400 years. Those are going to be the gut punch. So like, the, you know, how the people, how, how, how the, uh, many other white people that's going to watch this or, 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 or or some of the nations or the people of the nations around the world, how they come in how they saying, you're not God's chosen people. <laughs> and they have uh, elevated those people over in your, in, in, in your homeland as you. This is when God is going to go ahead and separate the wheat from the chaff. And he's going to show the whole world who you are. Point blank period. Point blank period. Right? At the last trump. The trumpet shall sound. That's when it's going to happen. Point blank period. Ain't no reason to argue. You don't never see me argue. You know, you'll never see me argue with nobody online and go back and forth with the comments. What I'm doing that for? I can read. I can read. I don't know. <laughs> I can read. You've never heard a pastor, a preacher, a teacher in your entire life say what I've said. I was talking to a pastor the other day and he was asking me, where did you get this from? And I started going through my progression of my faith and where I started at. And, you know, I was listening to this and then I was listening to this and then I was listening to this and I was listening to that. And the truth is, it came from God. Sometimes I listen back to my message. I say, what in the world was I talking? I didn't even know I said that. Because it's not from me. It's from God. I'm trying to warn the nations. <laughs> I'm warning somebody right now. I'm warning somebody and I'm advising somebody else right now. I'm warning somebody and I'm advising somebody else right now. Informing somebody else right now. I'm, I'm, I'm informing somebody to hold on a little bit longer. I'm informing somebody, advising somebody, just hold on a little bit longer. The power is finna descend from on high on you. The spirit is about to descend. I'm, I'm, I'm advising somebody right now to hold on a little bit longer. And I'm warning somebody else right now, saying you better repent because the kingdom of heaven is, is, is at hand. Uh, that hatred you have for us, uh, that dismissal of, of our atrocities and the curses and the plagues and, and the way that our lives have been for the last 400 years. Oh, go ahead. Go ahead. We finna come into glory. God's chosen people going to come into glory. You can believe that without question. Without question. So the trumpet judgments and the bold judgment will not even harm you. I'm talking about you with no nation. You're not American. 
You're not Mexican. I'm talking about you with no nation. You understand me? Right? I'm talking about it's not coming to you. Revelations 9 and 3. Out of the smoke of the locusts came down on the earth and were given power like that of scorpions on the earth. Mm. They were told not to harm the grass or the earth or the or any tree, uh, plant or tree, but only those who did not have the seal of God on their foreheads. So this is now when the trumpet judgments are coming in. And in and, and these, and these things that is about to come, these scorpions, these locusts are going to be able to harm everyone who does not have the seal of God. This is a fact. Hmm. It ain't going to be funny then. Hmm. It ain't going to be a joke or a game in another two and a half to three and a half years. It ain't going to be a joke or a game no more. They're going to be running to you for shelter. You with the seal of God. Ah, they don't want this. They're going to be running for you to protect them, to come in your house. You know how Isaiah 4 and 1 says that seven women going to cleave to you. They say, we just want to be called by your name. Ah, a power is coming to you. Even the, even the Gentiles are going to come and ask to be shielded from. Oh, they don't want this. They don't want this. Revelations 16 and 1. I said I wasn't going to make this that, that long. Revelation 16 and 1. Then I heard a loud voice from the temple saying to the seventh angel, go pour out the seven bowls of God's wrath on the earth. The first angel went and poured out the bowl in the, uh, on the land and ugly festering sores broke out on the people who had the mark of the beast and worshiped the image. So now there's a people that's going to have the mark of the beast and worship the image. See, the thing is, people act like they don't No, I'm sorry. They don't act like no one knows what the worship of the image is. Many people might say, I'm not going to take if I see something that coming that you got to take as a mark. We had to buy some. Many of them already took it or, or, or about to take it. Right. It's, if I see the characteristics, I'm not going to I'm not going to do that. But it's funny because I remember when I did a live video on the mark of the beast. I remember it was actually a friend of mine who used to work, a co or ex coworker of mine. She asked, what's the image of the beast? What's worshiping the image of the beast? And I never answered, but I remember seeing it. And I was wondering why she want to know that. Right? <laughs> you know, a guy said that all the mysteries of the parables ain't for everybody. You understand what I'm saying? He said, if they knew, they would repent. Mm, God help me preach this thing. You know, you know what I'm saying? He said it ain't for everybody because he said if they knew, then they would turn and repent. Sure, some of them would. What is worshiping the image? They don't know what the image is. <laughs> what is worshiping the image of the beast? You know, there's another scripture talk about how some of the ones, some of the Israelites, some of the people that's with us is going to miss the holidays. They're going to miss the, um, uh, uh, you know, the, the, the customs and the courtesies of the beast. And they're going to say, cut them off, you know, get rid of them. Right. But, but, but the image of the beast or worshiping the image of the beast is like, you know, celebrate, like having a flag outside your front of your house celebrating all the things and the customs and the courtesies of, of this nation or, or, or of these nations. You not understanding that these nations are corrupt and are scandalous and are oppressive and, and have done some of the worst atrocities all over the world, including just what they've done to your ancestors and what they continue to do to your people worldwide. But you think America is righteous. I went and fought in the war in Iraq. You know, it's funny. 90% of the people that come against me, they didn't do nothing when the war started. I went over there. Right. And I was in the infantry. I wasn't a cook <laughs> like your uncles and your cousins. I was in the infantry. Right. So I actually went on the front line. So I got to learn firsthand. See, that's why God took me the long way around. I got to learn firsthand. I had the flag on my right arm, worshiping the image of the beast. I thought we were fighting for righteousness, not oil. You see, you see this destroy a whole nation, kill a bunch of uh, women and children and men. For what? For corruption. You see this? But you worship that nation still. You see what I mean? You worship the images of this nation. And I can go on and on and on about so many different images of this nation, including the white Jesus, but image after image after image, that things that you worship. It's like when they when they left out of Egypt and they said, oh, you should have left us in Egypt. At least in Egypt, we had this worshiping the images, you see, of the beast. At least when we was in Egypt, we was doing it in Egypt. We was playing cards. Oh, remember Egypt the holidays we used to celebrate? That's why they got the golden calf. Worshiping the images of the beast, you see, right? Oh, it can go on and on and on. It, it, it goes on and on and on about the image of the beast and the images of the beast. Oh, I can go on and on and on about that. But the tribulations are coming to the world. Oh, Lord, they are coming to the world. They are not coming to you. Why would God bring tribulations on the people that he is trying to? to liberate and rescue. And then I read Zephaniah 3 and 19. At this time, I will deal with all who oppress you. I will rescue the lame. I will gather the exiles. I will give them praise and honor in every land where they have suffered shame. 
What people on the planet right now is suffering shame in the last days? What people on the planet right now are claiming that they are oppressed? What people on the planet right now needs to be gathered from all nations they were scattered? A little child could break this down. But you have to like, when you talk to white people about this, they can't understand it. They are so blind. But I mean, that's why they were, they were some, the ones that you're talking to, they were meant to be blind. Even the black, I just talked to some black people like this. That was very, very, I couldn't believe it. I said, like, where, where's the strong delusion coming from? It's like, you just have to read it plainly. Plainly, that's it, just plain. You don't need, it just, it's, just, it's plain. I just read that plainly to you. At this time, I will deal with all who oppressed you. Okay, what people on every continent in every nation is claiming to be oppressed? Who's claiming to be oppressed in Britain? Who's claiming to be oppressed in France? Who's claiming to be oppressed in Italy? Who's claiming to be oppressed in America? So you got a people that is scattered in all nations claiming to be oppressed. God says he's going to deal with the people that's, uh, that oppress them. I will rescue the lamb and I will gather the ex exile. Okay, so these same people that are claiming to be oppressed were scattered there. And God is saying he's going to gather them from all nations. Good, scripture after scripture after scripture after scripture. He's going to gather them. I will give you praise and honor in every land where you have suffered shame. They're, they're claiming to be suffering shame. Why would God bring judgments on a people that he is literally about to make the judges? I saw the thrones on which were seated those who have been given authority to judge. <laughs> and they reign with Christ a thousand years. Who do you think the judge is about to be? Mm -hmm. You know, when I was at the army, that was the saying, be careful of the butt you're kicking. Because it could be the butt you're kissing one day. Now, you know, I I, I I don't, I'm not one of those Israelites that talk about how we're going to be dragging people from behind our trucks and, and dragging them from our chain. And we're going to be, you know, beating white people up, nothing like that. I don't, that, that's insane because we're going to have God's laws on our hearts and our minds. However, be careful of the butt you're kicking because it could be the butt you're kissing one day. The last thing you want to do is be the cop who was beating the crap out of somebody, right, for no reason. And then now you're standing in front of that person as a leader of the free world, as one of the leaders of the free world. And they're judging you now for what you didn't did. Come on, somebody. Come on, somebody. The ones who show mercy will be shown mercy. Oh, Lord, help me preach this thing. And why would God want to bring or even try to bring desolation to a people that he intends to resurrect for the creation waits in eager expectation for the children of God to be revealed? Hmm. If the children of God is already being revealed, then why would God have to prophesy that the children of God is going to be revealed? Romans, that's Romans 8 and 19, because the children of God is going to be revealed. The whole world is waiting. Not just the Western European world or the Western America. We're talking about the whole world, the Arab nations, right? The African nations, the Chinese nations, right? The people that all around the world say, huh, those people living in Israel are not God's chosen people, but the world is waiting in eager expectation. For God's chosen people to be revealed. The world is waiting. <laughs> and don't worry. Like I told you, this is going to all happen at the last trump. When this power in the, in the spirit comes from on high on you. Oh, God, it's going to be Oh, it's going to be amazing. I hope y'all hear what I'm saying. It's going to be something serious. It's going to be supernatural. Mm, 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 mm. And the weak shall be made strong. And the poor shall be made rich. Ah, y'all don't want this. They don't want this. The tribulations are coming to the nations, not to you. Receive this in the name of Christ. I'll talk to y'all soon. Shalom. Shalom. Hey guys, thank you for tuning in. I truly appreciate it. The Bible says that the preacher earns his living from the believers, from the church. You are the church. You are the believers. You are the congregation. I can't do this alone. The preacher earns his living from you. If you have it, please go ahead and donate at Cash App, money sign, Leo Dunson. That's Cash App, money sign leo dunson you can also go to leodunson.com slash donate thank you so much every dime every ten dollars i've gotten ten dollars five dollars three dollars a hundred dollars every single penny counts and it matters and god said if you bless his ministers he will bless you thank you